Hello fellow developers, welcome back to our channel Ayastech. In today's tutorial, we are going to dive into the powerful debugging feature in Angular, Breakpoints. This skill is essential to debug effectively in real-world applications, ensuring you can pinpoint and solve issues rapidly. Whether you are a beginner or seasoned pro, mastering Breakpoint will significantly improve your coding workflow. So let's get started. First things first, let's set up our Angular environment. Make sure you have Angular CLI installed. If not, then just run npm install angular CLI in your terminal like this. Uh, you can further watch my one of the angular videos that I have recorded about in setting up angular and installation. After it is installed, you can just start a new project ng new and project name. This will create a new project with the custom name that you have specified. And once that is ready, you can open your project as my project is already created and this is a basic hello world project so you can just open your project and let's jump into the visual studio code or the editor whatever you are using breakpoints are like stop signs for your code they tell the debugger to pause execution so you can examine the state of your app at that moment in the time to add a breakpoint simply click on the gutter next to the line number for like this in your code editor where you want the execution to pause let's start uh, with the basic using chrome dev tools before doing that let me add some logic in my app component.ts so here first of all i will add console.log hello world okay now open your angular app in the chrome and then open the inspect element you can press f12 to open dev tools or just right click and click on the inspect and then navigate to the sources tab and under the webpack folder uh, you can find your source files so open the source and this will reflect reflect your own project structure as we want to inspect the app dot component click on that now click on the line number to add a breakpoint so for example i want to add here click on the line number 10 you can see the blue line here that is highlighted now that's mean the breakpoint has been added now when you interact with your app and hit that line of code chrome will pause the execution so if you reload it you will see that it is saying paused in debugger and you can see the green highlight in this area so if you close the inspect element and now if you reload it it will not stop at that point it will work only if you have inspect element opened so now if you reload it you will see it will take you again to that place so when we load the app execution will stop right before the console log here allowing us to inspect variables call stacks and more now what if you want to use an ide like visual studio code for debugging you can just open the vs uh, code launch.json file that is in this folder and set up the configuration for the chrome debugger normally when you create a project it is this file is automatically created for you if not you make sure to make it look like this one now uh, set a breakpoint directly in the vs code here and launch the debugger and it will open the chrome and it will stop at your breakpoint so let's give it a try and let me remove the breakpoint to remove it just uh, click on that breakpoint again it will remove the breakpoint breakpoint let's close it i am going to stop my server now go to the run and debug and click select the ng serve click on the play icon and it will start the application in the debug mode all right the browser has been opened now before uh, executing this line it has paused the execution on this line and it has highlighted this highlighted this part that means it is now on the breakpoint so this also works in the same way like we were using in the inspect element just click on the play to continue the execution angular also provides us with more advanced breakpoint options conditional breakpoint or game changer you can set a condition that must be true for the breakpoint to trigger for instance if you want to stop when a variable reaches a certain value for example let me add you more and here i will define a variable let test is equal to one two three or whatever and you want it to stop here only if test is equal one two three and so it will stop on the line number 13 only if this condition becomes true so let's give it a try and we remove the breakpoint you can remove the all of the breakpoints all together by clicking on this cross button as well this will remove all of the breakpoints in one go so let me add a breakpoint here click on the line number 13 something is wrong when i click here it adds the breakpoint on the beginning that's not right maybe we should start the debugger again so stop by clicking on the stop icon and click on the play icon again 
all right the app was opened in the browser and you can see that it was paused on the line number 13 because the condition is becoming true if you hover on the test it will show you that the value is 123 you can also see the values on the left side as well where it is saying that test is equal to 123 so if condition is not true then it will never stop at this position so let us let it just continue for now and i will change the value and this time the condition would not be true and it will never stop at that position and you will see in the console that uh, test is already logged in the console but if you, we revert it back to this then this time it will not show the test it has shown the hello world already in the logs you can see but it did not console the test because the execution has paused on the line number 13 it will go on the line number 15 only if you press continue from this line another powerful feature is the debugger statement inserting it in your code will act as a breakpoint when the dev tools are open so for example i will just uh, remove the breakpoints and let me just stop the debugger mode i will just st uh, start the server in the simple way and here i will add debugger keyword now if you open it if you reload it right now it is not stopping at that place but if you open the inspect element and now reload it it will stop at the debugger where you have added that keyword all right so let's talk about the performance a little bit you can use breakpoints to audit the performance of specific functions by measuring the time between hitting breakpoints uh, you can understand how long certain operation take and helping you identify bottlenecks so you can see all of the information is available here you can monitor imagine you have uh, an e-commerce app and you are tracking down a bug where user's cart is not updating you will set a breakpoint where the cart should update and you can inspect the state of the cart and check network requests and more all to find out why it is not behaving as expected and that's a wrap on breakpoints in angular remember debugging is an art and breakpoints are one of the most valuable tools practice these techniques and you will be squashing bugs like a pro in no time if you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Angular tips and tricks. Happy coding. Thanks for watching. Ayazta. Keep tuning in for more tutorials that help you become a better developer. See you in the next one.